सुनील कुमार एस प्रोफेसर एंड हेड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिजाइन ऑफ टू वे स्लैब लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन द लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसीजर ऑफ डिटर्मिनिंग द इफेक्टिव स्पैन एंड द इफेक्टिव थिकनेस ऑफ टू वे फॉर टू वे स्लैब एंड द री एनफोर्समेंट रिक्वायर्ड इन शॉर्ट एंड लॉन्ग डायरेक्शन फॉर टू वे स्लैब introduction when the slab is supported on all four sides and the ratio of the longer span ly to shorter span lx is less than 2 the bending moment developed in both x and y directions as shown in figure 1 this is figure 1 you will find this is longer span and this is shorter span so you will find it deforms in both the direction so bending moment you will get in both the direction comparably almost nearer to each other shorter is more and longer is less so therefore bending moment developed in x and y direction is predominant and hence design would be made for the reinforcement in both direction please remember for two way slab main steel is there on both the sides along short as well as along long direction it is known as to be slab please see the deform shape so the moment developed depends upon the edge condition also in building we have we come across the following boundary conditions so all four edges discontinuous or all four edges continuous first one then one short edge discontinuous one long edge discontinuous two adjacent edges discontinuous two short edges discontinuous two long edges discontinuous three edges discontinuous and one long edge continuous three edges discontinuous and one short edge discontinuous so all these cases are shown in this figure number 2 so this is number 1 is all sides of the slab are continuous number 2 is the one short edge discontinuous number 3 is one long edge is discontinuous number 4 two adjacent edges discontinuous number 5 two short edges are discontinuous but only long edge is continuous number 6 here two short edges continuous one long two long edges are discontinuous number 8 all three edges discontinuous and one short edge continuous number 7 all three edges discontinuous one long edge continuous number 9 this is all four edges discontinuous number 9 is all four edges discontinuous number 10 here it is simply supported slab without torsional steel and this is with torsional steel number 9 is with torsional steel now design steps for two way slab find the effective span lx of the slab as per clause 22.2 effective span 22.2 of is 456 2000 effective span shall be smaller of the two that is clear shorter span plus effective depth or center to center distance between the support in shorter direction assume effective depth of the slab small d as per clause number uh, 24.1 note 2 of is 456 2000 for to a slab of shorter span up to 3.5 meter with mild steel reinforcement the span to overall depth ratio given below may generally be you assumed to satisfy the vertical deflection limits for loading up to 3 kN per meter square that is live load so simply supported slabs 35 continuous slabs 40 for hysd bars the above value are multiplied by 0.8 find the load on slab the load on slab comprises of dead load floor finish and live load the load can be calculated per unit area that is load per meter square so here dead load wd it is d overall depth of the slab in meter into 1 into 25 kN per cubic meter that is density it will give you in 20 kN uh, it will give the value in kN per meter 
फ्लोर फिनिश वन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर इंटू वन इट इज वन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर लाइव लोड अज्यूम्ड एज टू टू बिटवीन टू टू फाइव किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द ऑक्यूपेंसी ऑफ द बिल्डिंग फॉर रेसिडेंशियल टू एंड फॉर पब्लिक थ्री एंड फॉर लाइब्रेरी इट इज फाइव किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर फाइंड द बेंडिंग मोमेंट इन एक्स एंड वाई डायरेक्शन फॉर यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ एंटायर स्लैब ऑन एंटायर स्लैब मैक्सिम पॉजिटिव बेंडिंग मोमेंट टेंशन एट बॉटम डेवलप्स एट द सेंटर ऑफ स्पैन एंड सपोर्ट एट सपोर्ट नेगेटिव बेंडिंग मोमेंट डेवलप्स इन द स्लैब विथ वेरियस एज कंडीशन द मैक्सिम बेंडिंग मोमेंट पर यूनिट वेड ऑफ द स्लैब आर गिवन इन एन एक्शर डी If you refer D 1.1, you will get M X is equal to alpha X into W into L X square. M Y is equal to alpha Y into W into L Y L X square. Please remember both time it is shorter span only L X square only. It is as per D 1.1 of IS 456 two thousand. Alpha X and alpha Y are calcul coefficients calculated from table 26 and 27 of IS 456 two thousand depending upon the case. So please tell me for two A slab. Bends or deflects in shorter direction, in longer direction, bends in both direction, or none. The right answer is it bends in both the direction. That is option C. Now this is table number twenty-six. So depending, this is case number from one to nine. This is case number from one to nine. So you'll get this is. L Y by L X ratio from one to two. This is the coefficient for longer span. This is table number twenty six used for case number one to nine. So please remember here you will get the positive and negative winding wind. Negative winding is over supports and positive winding wind at mid span. Now table number twenty seven it is used for case number ten. For case number ten we use. The coefficient alpha x alpha y from table number twenty seven. So next, find the area of main steel in both the direction as per G one point one B. M is equal to point eighty seven F Y S T D into one minus S T F Y B D F C K. That is G one point one B. Or you can write it as S T is equal to point five F C K B D upon F Y into one minus square root of one minus four point six M upon F C K B D square. Assume diameter of the bar usually 10 mm or 12 mm and find spacing of the reinforcement which is given by area of one bar divided by st into 1000 provide main reinforcement along short direction and long direction of the slab having spacing less than whatever we determined above so that means please remember both are main reinforcement then you are supposed to draw a neat sketch showing the reinforcement arrangement so in case of two a slab you will find both the steels are very important that means along short direction as well as along long direction so whenever you go for the interior slab if you have a interior slab interior span case then you have to first find out the ly by lx if the ly by lx let us say it is 1.5 if it is 1.5 ly by lx then you will get the negative alpha x as 0.053 and alpha x Is equal to zero point zero four one. That is for negative bending moment is zero point zero five three, and for positive bending this is at mid span, and this is at the support. This is over the support. So therefore, you will get both the coefficients. It, both are alpha x, but this is in the negative value. This will give you the positive value. So this is at mid span, and this is at the over the support. and similarly on the longer side you will get for any value for all values of ly by lx you have to take the same value that is uh, over the support it is 0.032 and at mid span it is 0.024 now please remember the negative moment is always greater than the positive bending moment so therefore so over the support you have maximum bending moment for the continuous edges so this is how we have to refer this particular table and here you will find for four edges discontinuous will when only one because for simply supported over the uh, at the support it is zero bending moment is zero so therefore you get only at mid span and that is having maximum value okay
then if you are this is a table with a, a torsion reinforcement provided at corner you will be providing a mesh of bars that is torsion reinforcement to avoid lifting up of the edges now this table we refer when we don't assume that we are if you are not providing torsion reinforcement at corners then you have to take alpha x alpha y from this particular table so this is the difference between these two so this we have already discussed these are the references used thank you thank you one and all